So dudes, on my last trip um, with Mike, we had a long walk down to the boat. So he told me to travel light. Um, and not that the boat couldn't hold stuff. It was a three person, had lots of room, which was really nice. But one of the ways in which I thought I could travel light was to not bring any bag whatsoever because I was gonna need a lot of warmth. So I was bringing this big heavy jacket um, with you know lots of insulation on it and it has lots of pockets. So I basically turned it into my like river wading jacket because I don't have a wading jacket, but that's what this became. So I took everything out of here that I would have needed that day. Well, my reel is back in there. I've added a few things back in, but just look at all the stuff that I included in my jacket. I made a little um, tool and tippet situation out of my fish pond tippet holder. I'm gonna add that tippet back to my Orvis spot right there on my Orvis bag. I like that uh, tippet holder a lot better actually. Um, then there's a pocket in there for your hand warmer. See, this is high up on the jacket, this one, which is nice. So that was pretty clutch. Had my hand warmers or my gloves in there throughout the day. This is just a jacket from REI. Um, nothing left in that one. And there's this outer pocket. Yeah, a glove and a hand warmer just from the day. Just clearing this jacket back out. These pockets are pretty cool, honestly. They have the top one has just a snap. Then you have the one up by your chest for hand warmth. It also has a snap if you're storing anything in it during the walk. And then the outside of the pocket has a zipper and it's another pocket. This is where I had my tiny single fly box and my New Zealand wool for my all-wheel drives, which I didn't really end up using. So yeah, putting all this back in, oops, just dropped my tippet thing. Putting all this back in my bag, it was a good idea. If you ever wanna leave the uh, bag at home, just stuff stuff in your jacket. And frankly, the biggest point I'm doing this and telling you all of this is because not having this bag with all of its dangles and like snares in which to snare your line and things at your feet or behind you or whatever on your boat. Like just look at all the places fly line can grab these when you bring one onto the boat with you. Whereas I was wearing this jacket, like none of that was exposed and it just made my day fishing on the front of the boat that much easier. Honestly, there was probably, you know, three to five to 10 times that my line didn't get tangled up on something it otherwise might have. Um, so I think I might be doing that some more in the future when fishing out of boats, just trying to minimize tangle opportunities. I mean, literally when you look at it, it's like, it's insane. Pew, 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 pew. You know, 